Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review inst institutions. This is a supplement for Dungeons and Dragons, the original version. This is the Supplement 1 Greyhawk rules for fantastic medieval war games campaigns playable with paper and pencil and miniature figures. So, and published by TSR. Made by Gary Gygax and Rob Kuntz. It's a pretty good picture of a lizard man up there. 1976. Well, that's when the copyright was. I guess this is the 10th printing, November 1978, actually. And it starts with a foreword. It's going over the characters, such as uh, fighting men, including paladins, magic users, clerics, thieves, it's, uh, let's see, anything else, dwarves, elves, and so forth, and hobbits and half-elves. And going over determination of abilities. Now NPCs here, levels and number of experience points needed to obtain them. And different stats regarding classes such as wizards and so forth and clerics and so forth. It's got an alternative combat system. And here's the damage done by different weapon types. Magic armor effects on armor class. Tax and damage by monster type, that's important. And a spell table for second and third level spells. And here's some additions. Japanese ogre. It's got some 5th and 6th, 7th level spells to 8th level. Quite a few in here. And here's Monsters and Treasure. And some addition, additional monsters and corrections to ones. Here's Storm Giants. This is probably the first time that appeared. Harpies. Lizard men, salamanders, beholders, umber hulks, displacer beasts, hellhounds, giant ticks, owl bears, gelatinous cubes. Cool. Magic and maps determination table, miscellaneous weapons. And here's some rings. It's got armor and potions here. More potions and some more magic items such as different types of holy swords or magic swords and armor all sorts of bags here bags of transmuting bag of devouring lodestone so this is all sorts of extra creatures and stuff and items and so forth you can add to your campaigns that's kind of cool I was expecting to see a little bit more background on creating like a scenario or something in here but this is my first time going through the book more items Oh my god, is this where the deck of many things came from? Uh, I played a campaign in 5th edition where people were playing with that crazy deck of many things. I guess this is where it originated. Didn't realize that was this old. I thought that was newer. Interesting. Underworld and Wilderness Adventures. Ticks, tricks and Traps. Uh, here are some additions. And monster level tables. Bugbear, ghoul, and, f and friends. <laughs> Anyhow, just wanted to show you guys this old book. Thanks for watching. If you've uh, 
ever use this in a campaign, let us know and tell us about it in the comments section. I uh, hope to see you guys uh, soon. Next time I uh, put a video up and take a look at my website too, I'm always putting up new reviews. Have a good evening.